Hello, and welcome to this video tutorial about using the Principal Investigator, or PI Lab resource, for tracking information for billing in Sesame. For this tutorial, we will use the Sundial module. The PI's lab resource tracks billing information for services that your lab is providing. To open the PI resource, go to the main window in Sundial and go to Options in the menu bar. Under the Lab Resources submenu, click on PIs. The PIs window now opens in the board. First, a quick overview of the layout of the PI window. The upper part of the PI window is the Search Result window. A list of PI names appear here for the PI records that fit the search criteria. The bottom part of the window is the PI record and will show all the data for the selected PI. The upper and lower part of the PI window may be resized by dragging the bar in the middle. PI records hold contact information for your accounts, including a primary billing contact who is typically a principal investigator. The principal investigator does not necessarily need to be a Sesame user. PI records also list funding options and members in the principal investigators group who are allowed to order services from your lab. To view the existing PI records for the current lab, use the search function. Under the search menu, we can search by owner or search by date. In this tutorial, I will search by owner. The search window pop-up contains fields that let us define the search criteria. When I leave an asterisk in every field, all the PI records for the current lab are returned. The search results are shown in the upper part of the PI window and sorted by the PI name. When you click on a PI name, the associated record will be shown in the lower window. Contact details, the group members, and the funds. If you want to create a new record from scratch, you will have to clear all the data that may be showing in the lower window first. To do this, go to the PI menu and select Clear PI. To create a new record, first enter the relevant data starting with the PI name. Fill in any additional fields that you might like to track. Click Save as New PI in the PI menu to create a new PI record in the database. Every PI name must be unique in a lab. PI records include a list of group members who may use the services your lab provides. The PI is responsible for paying the bills incurred by the ones listed here for the services provided. Group members must be registered as Sesame users to be added. The billing details and the access to the services provided for the individual group members is defined in the Permits lab resource. Managing permits is discussed in a separate video. To add the PI's group member to the record, use the Group Members field. Click on the green plus button to the right side of the Group Members field. Search for the user here. You may search by username, family name, or given name, and select your choice in the Name Type drop-down. Then, select the letter that the name starts with in the drop-down choice list. The search is executed automatically. To sort the table by column, double-click on the column's header. Select the user or users to be added by clicking on the checkbox in the selected column of the user's table. Click OK to add the selected user. Save your changes. To remove a group member from the list, select a row in the group members field, then click on the red minus button on the right side. The item must be saved before changes in the database occur. Select Save PI under the PI menu. To add fund information, click on the green plus button on the right side of the funds field. Enter data into the editable columns of the new row. Again, be sure to save your changes. To remove a fund, select a row in the Funds field and then click on the red minus button on the right side of the Funds field. Note, the selected row will be deleted without asking for confirmation. The item must be saved before changes in the database occur. You may refresh data for the PI record to the previously saved version in the database. 
This command works if you have not saved the changes you made and would like to reverse them. To show this function, I'll add a street address here. I haven't saved this yet, and now we'll select Refresh PI from the PI menu to restore the previous record. The user will be given an option to proceed and discard the changes or to cancel the refresh operation. The change I just made, the new address I just added, is now removed and the record is refreshed. To delete a PI record from the database, select the PI record from the search results window and on the PI menu click Delete PI. Click Remove PI in the Are You Sure pop-up. This will permanently delete the PI record from the database. Please note, a PI used by a Sesame item cannot be deleted, otherwise the data consistency of the records using the PI would be violated. To close the PI window, go to the PI menu and select Close PI, or you may click the X button on the Windows title bar. If the content of the view has been modified since the last save operation, the user will be given an option to proceed and discard changes or to cancel the operation. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video, and please refer to the help pages on the Sesame website for any further questions.